Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we start the wonderful world of debugging. So let's go ahead and open up Mono Development and Unity. Now in this little video, we're just going to start at the base class, and we'll just start at the top. So if you're in Mono Development and you hit the slash key three times, you'll get this summary block. In here, you just want to put the title of the class. So in this case, it's base stat dot CS, the author, I uh, usually add the date, and then a description. Uh, this is the base class for all stats in game. Now you can obviously add a lot more there if you want. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple class. Okay, you might not have this line yet. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating a public constant. So because it's public, anyone can access it outside of this class itself. It's a constant, so it can't be changed. So we don't have to make any setter and getters for it. And it's an integer. And I've signed the name starting exp cost, and I've set it to 100. Now the reason why I did this is later on when we're doing stuff, for instance, in our game settings, when we're setting the default value for the load, so it would go through and it load up, and if for some reason it couldn't find it or there was some sort of error in loading it, it would assign a base value, and we had just been putting zeros in here. And we don't really want to do that. It'd be much better if we could actually just have a starting cost explicitly stated somewhere and put it in there. So that's what I've done here. So let's comment that. publicly accessible now I generally leave a space in between my publics and my privates that doesn't sound right at all but anyway I'm just going to tab these over I've already done the commenting on those I believe initially when we created the class. And I just like to have my comments line up. So we got our base value, our buff value, which we still haven't done anything with, but I'm sure we will. Experience to level, and the level modifier. So now we come down here and create our constructor. And then if you hit the slash three times, it'll automatically create this little block for you, which is good enough for now. Now keep in mind that in your base constructor, you want to set a default value for all your variables. In constants, you want to make sure you have a default value up here for them. Okay, I'm going to go down. Now this region line just allows me to be able to open and close code. So I can close all of my setters and getters just by clicking that little button. So just a quick recap on basic setters and getters. The basic way it works is you have this method name. And anytime you want to assign a value to it, it's going to use the set part of the method. And anytime you want to get a value out of it, it's going to use the get part of the method. And an example of that is if we go over to game settings and we look at save character data. Uh, let's look at the name. PC class dot name. So we're going into the base class and just simply getting the name. Now we want to actually set the name we go down to the load method we'll see that we have PC name equals and then we're just going to pass a value into it Now it's important to note that you have to pass in what it's expecting so for instance 
here we have it typecast as a string. Uh, for level, it's always going to be an int. Then, of course, for free exp, it's going to be an unsigned integer. But we'll get to that more when we get to that class. So these are pretty basic. You can just come up to it, hit it, hit the backslash three times. I get to set the base value. I like to rename the variables to what they're actually called in the script. The value part just says, you know, what the value is. Or what the name of the base value is. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go along and do all my setters and getters. Making sure to rename in the documentation what the actual variable names are. But you should have a pretty good understanding how they work. If not, make sure you leave comments down below. We can go over it again. This is where we should put music in the video. Okay, so now we got the level modifier. And this is the last one. Okay, I'm just going to quickly hit save. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that for all of my private variables here, I have a getter and setter for each one. And of course, you can close the documentation down for it so you don't have to look at it or the code itself. This is why I like the region. Since I'm all done with the getters and setters now, I'll just close it up. It saves a lot of screen real estate. So for adjusted base value, if you notice, I'm not storing the value anywhere. What I'm really doing is just recalculating it. So I'm going to come down here make my standard comment and I'm just going to say recalculate the adjusted base value and return it there we go the value is the adjusted base value And that's it for that one. Then calculate experience to level. Again, we don't have a variable called calculate experience to level. This is just a function that simply takes the experience to level and multiplies it by our level modifier. So if we look at the top here, our experience to level is 100. And, well, it starts off at 100. And our level modifier is 1.1 float. So that means the first time around, you're, it's going to cost you 100 experience to raise it. And then the next time, it's going to cost 110, and then 121, and just so on and so on. Now, one thing you might be tempted to do is just to make this a constant or some sort of static variable. I've left left it as a just a private variable because you might actually want your attributes to have different starting exp costs this was just a base that I wanted to use so that one's done and then in the level up function is where we actually call the calculate exp to level and what we're doing is we're taking our variable exp to level and we're going to store the, ex the new experience to level so like I said, the first time we start off, this is actually equal to 100. But then we're going to go in and, well, it's going to come back as 110 after we calculate this. So it stores it in, then it increases our base level for us. So let's add that in comments. And you'll notice we did not get a value underneath. It's, it's because we're not returning anything. So we want to 
assign the new value to exp2 level and then increase the base base value by one. Now you might be tempted to throw some debugging code in here to make sure that they actually have the experience to raise and whatnot, but we're actually going to handle that in the character classes. And that about wraps up our base stats class, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to go over the attribute class. Until then, see you later.